What is up YouTube? It's Brandon from Tattooing 101 and today I'm going to break down the steps to open up a tattoo studio. I've owned two tattoo studios in my career so far and also worked at a ton before that. So I have a lot of knowledge on how to set up and do those things. And I know a lot of you along with your journey, that's everyone's end goal. So these are my steps to open up a tattoo studio. And if you're not there yet, how to start getting ready for that process. So starting out, Let's say you're not 100% tattooing yet, you're still working at a regular job and getting into tattooing. First thing you could do is definitely get into a tattoo studio, learn how things run. I wouldn't recommend just jumping straight into tattooing, opening up your shop because there's a lot of things that you need to pick up through throughout the industry and build up clientele before opening up. If you need help with like a mentor or something like that, I recommend you get into our Artist Accelerator program. That way you could go through all the steps, learn how to tattoo appropriately and have mentors like me that you could get on live calls and talk to me personally to be able to get you to that next step of your journey. So I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in something like that. But let's get into the next one. So after you're getting into a tattoo studio, you're learning how to appropriately run a business, pick up on everything that they do, you know, how everyone's doing their taxes, how they run the business, how they're doing something simple as release forms. All those things are super important along with sterilization to open up your tattoo studio. Next is going to be funds. You need to be able to save up Depending on the tattoo studio that you want to open up, I'd say if you want to do a custom studio, you're going to need five to $10,000. If you want to open up a tattoo studio to where you have multiple people working for you, it could be thirty to $50,000 to get everything set up, um, how you want it to do all the construction, all these things add up, and it could be way more than that as well. So depending on your setup, depending on what you want to do, you have to think about rent, water, trash, you know, the biohazard pickup, electricity, internet, all those things are important and schedule out on a piece of paper and plan everything and know exactly what you need to make each week to be able to pay all the bills and be able to pay for rent to keep the doors open. The last thing you want to do is open up a tattoo studio, figure out in six months you're not able to do it and then have to try to go back to work because after telling someone that you're going to open up a tattoo studio, you're going to burn a lot of bridges which is another point. Do not tell anyone you're going to open up a tattoo studio. If you're starting out an apprenticeship and they ask you what are your goals, Never say that you're going, your goal is to open up a studio because they're going to think in their head that you're going to be competition eventually. They're not going to give you a shot just because of that reason. So don't necessarily lie to them. Lying's the worst thing you could do. But just say, you know, your goal is to learn how to tattoo and, you know, you just want to learn to be the best you possibly can and learn everything along with the business. That'll be my advice for that. Next, you have all your funds ready. That's going to be finding the location and talking to your health department, understanding all of the steps you need to take in order to get into there and build everything up to code. So Tennessee has a pretty in-depth health department. They have a list of steps that you need to do. And you know the walls need to be a specific way, painted, can't be straight wood, everything needs to be clean, collected, it has to be sterilization, bloodborne pathogens pickups. You have to have a specific amount of cartridges, specific amount of paper towels in each booth, running water hooked up to city disposal, and a ton of other stuff that you need to look into because every health department is different. So looking into those things will help out. Biohazard disposal was a big deal. And also in Tennessee, we have to have curtains put up in each station to be able to give privacy if your customer does want that. That's one thing that's different from any other state that I've worked in that you need to have. So all of these things, if they come out and everything's set up correctly and you don't have one of those things, they will not let you open. The worst thing you want to do is have a ton of people set up and you let them know your opening day and they come out and they say, well, you didn't do this, so you can't open until it's done. That can be super hectic and then you have to spend a ton of money trying to get it done as quick as possible, which isn't going to help you out in the long run. So plan everything. I actually have a binder with all of the health codes, everything I need to do and everything set up. So anytime I want to open up a tattoo studio, I know exactly what I need to do and it's all planned out. Another thing I had to do when I found my location is draw up the schematics of how everything was going to be set up, where the bathroom was going to be, where the stations were, where the sinks are. Everything in detail I had to sketch out and send to the health department so they could check everything, know the dimensions, know that there's a sink in every single station, and approve it before I even started construction. And I did it all myself. I built all the walls, put up the drywall, did all the drywall sanding, all the things, painted the ceiling, which was the worst part of the whole thing. I did have a couple friends help me. Um, you know, my really good friends helped me paint the ceiling, put up the walls. I had my one buddy that's a plumber come out and help me out with that which helped a ton. Obviously, I don't do plumbing for a living, so I would have messed something up. So 
having people help you out is going to be a great thing as well. So build up a connection with people and, you know, they're going to be there just like you're there for them. So that's one thing that helped me out throughout my career as well, having people to be there to help me out. So you got the location, you did all the building. Now it's time to get everything ready for your opening day. So you need to advertise, hit the books, make sure that everyone knows that you're opening and the date that you're opening. What I like to do is do on opening day, I'll have little giveaways. So you draw a tag, you buy a tag for a dollar or five dollars, whatever, and you draw three at the end, you get a free tattoo. One's a hundred dollar tattoo, one's a two hundred dollar tattoo, one's a five hundred dollar tattoo. And, you know, usually if a ton of people come out, it's worth it. You end up getting your money back through the tags that are sold. Sometimes you won't. It just depends on how much people you know, you have to follow you. So marketing is going to be a huge deal for you and get business cards as soon as you have the location set in and you start working. So you could have the address, all of that stuff, even your phone number on there, email so that people could start reaching out and you could start getting the clientele base set up before you even start opening. That'll help you hit the ground running whenever you first start opening up. Next is going to be before opening, the health department's going to come out and check your stations. They're going to go through everything that you have and make sure everything's up to date. All of your dates on your inks, all of that stuff. And they come out every three months and check all of those things. So it's something you have to be very mindful. And since you are the owner, if something happens to where something's wrong, you are going to be liable. I think it's $300 per offense, which I've never got anything. I've always gotten 100 percent, which is awesome on all of my health department um, ratings, which is really great. I'm super thankful that me and my team have such a great understanding of all the health department codes and all that stuff. So I don't have to deal with any of that or stress about that as well. So having a good team working with you at a tattoo studio will help balance out all of the things. So it's not just put a hundred percent on your shoulders. You know, you could have someone answering phones or if you have an apprentice, um, be able to do those things and you'll just focus on, you know, running the business, doing taxes, all of that stuff. Which gets on to the next point, doing your taxes. Make sure you don't lie on your taxes. That's something that I see a ton destroy people's lives. You know, if you are having too many write-offs or something like that, it could really affect getting loans in the future. So don't lie about your taxes. Just suck it up, pay it, and I promise you it'll benefit you in the future. Yes, it hurts having to pay in taxes every year. Everyone does it. That's just a part of life in America. I'm not sure, obviously, what other places in the world are doing with taxes. I don't know. I've been, never been out of America yet, but that's my advice for that. So if you are open to opening up a tattoo studio, this is the advice I have and that I've gone through in my career to understand, to be able to help you guys out a little bit better. I hope this was able to help you guys out and you have a wonderful day.